everyone. Welcome to Lex Talk, World Talk Show presented by Clickaway Creators. Today, we have Mr. Vineet Aneja with us. He is the managing partner as well as a head of corporate commercial practice of the firm. He has a plethora of experience across sectors such as corporate commercial, mergers and acquisitions, joint ventures, private equity, compliance audit, retail, hospitality, employment, e-commerce, education, healthcare, aviation, white collar crimes, and the list goes on. He has provided a specialized transactional and advisory service across sectors covering diverse areas. He has been a director on board of Indian subsidiaries of various multinational corporations. To name a few, Vineet has been a director on the board of Crate & Barrel, Renault, Continental, Contract Pharmacal, Superdry, and Manually Hydraulics. He has been recognized and awarded for his excellence in corporate laws over many years by many forums. And without any other ado, I'm, I'll just introduce to the man himself. Hello, Mr. Vineet, how are you? I'm good, Bharti, thank you. Uh, well, uh, Mr. Anija, we're really excited to know about your journey as a legal professional uh, so far. So let's just dive right into that. So uh, I, after having worked, I mean, I started my career roughly 25 years back. And after having worked with uh, the bigger law firms, it was the question which came up, now what next? So I was a partner in uh, one of the largest law firms in India. And uh, it was the courage to come out of my uh, comfort zone and try my luck or try my shot at being independent and being an entrepreneur. That's what led to uh, the setting up of Glasses Law 10 years ago. And uh, things have been good. We've had good uh, responses. And uh, I think the challenges which you have um, uh, as an independent and the flexibility that you have has been uh, quite rewarding. So today, today we are, we, we started, uh, I think, uh, uh, with three associates in, uh, apart from myself. And today we are there in two of the cities, Mumbai and Delhi, and uh, roughly 30 lawyers. Thank you so much for that uh, introduction, um, Mr. Neja. Uh, now uh, we have talked about your journey. Uh, how about your law firm and the services that you provide? Can you please give us a quick overview? So we are a full service law firm. Uh, yes, barring uh, and purely in the sense of a legal firm, so the only exception to our practices is that we do not get into tax. Otherwise, we are advising clients across the board from initial setting up, whether it's a, 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 a small company being set up uh, as a subsidiary or uh, acquisition or uh, a joint venture. Our experience varies across industries. But yes, uh, some of the areas where we have been doing a lot of work has been retail, hospitality, insurance, uh, real estate, employment i mean those are just to name a few but uh, partners we've got around seven partners uh, across our delhi and mumbai offices and we look at i mean one of the things that we like to focus on is that it's not just the question of the first piece of work or getting the new client it's actually just yes, holding their hand and uh, trying to anticipate what they would want rather than just being plain simple legal lawyers i mean today the market requires business lawyers not just legal lawyers so we try to we try to add that added touch, I would say. Well, thank you so much. Uh, so uh, that being said, uh, and I would really request you to not be modest here. Uh, and uh, what is your biggest factor that has helped you to be this this successful? Liking my work. You see, I, what I tell my uh, team as well, it's not about. Uh, with, you, can't, you can't really judge the fact that you like your work or not. I think the simple judgment of whether you are doing justice to your job or you're enjoying your work is that when you get up in the morning, you want to go to work. It's not that, oh, I've got to go to work. I know the situation today is slightly different. It's about getting out of the house and uh, going to work. We are all facing that challenge. But uh, hard work is required. You need, you need to focus and look at, again, it all comes down to have a commercial uh, intent. And just wanting to not uh, not work by the clock, work by the need of the client. So while I think that this is also common for every law firm, while generally law firms have a start time, they really don't have a finish time. It's that, yes, when the work is done, that's when the work is done. But the basic thing which I look at is that I want to get up in the morning and go to work. That's what makes a difference. If not, then you go to introspect and see where, where 
is is you're you're not happy about your work or you're not happy about the uh, sometimes it's just the culture of a firm as also and that's what we try to do that yes try to keep it a relaxed uh, atmosphere so that people want to come to work right well that's that is quite inspirational and uh, you know that little industry uh, especially is expanding uh, like crazy and there are, there are a lot of competitors out there so many law firms coming up with some amazing ideas and all that uh, so what makes you stand out uh, or above your competitors see that's uh, that can have a very cliche answer as well and i think though that this kind of a question is really best answered by a client who receives the services but what i believe is that you need no task is too small or it's not about doing the big transactions every query every, anything coming from a client is important it's important for them they are not able to uh, look at it from an internal perspective and that's why they come to you so giving that attention so what we try to do is that every uh, matter and i'm when i say matter it's not about a transaction it's whether it's about an opinion or a small query is looked at by a partner and yes where we have clients who uh, have certain expectations or they used to a particular person relationship plays a very important role in this so i think one is that yes we have partner involvement and what i believe is that a client always needs to be handled with care i mean it's i uh, some people may think maybe not an appropriate example but i say a client is like a baby which never grows up you just need to handle it with care for your life and and law sometimes has those sensitive areas which require uh, extra attention all right uh, uh, that being said um, sir anija uh, let's talk about your specialization now uh, and I, i'm sure there will be many people who would like to know about your opinion on this that how do you look at corporate commercial law in uh, 2021 and how do you think it's going to change five years down the line See, I think it, you see, laws have been evolving. A lot of the involvement of the laws in the recent past has been to take into account the pandemic situation. Flexibility has been granted, and looking at the way things have uh, panned out, it may be the case that these uh, flexibilities or uh, relaxations allowed are likely to remain for a while. But corporate commercial law is, I think, the different. There's not much of a change uh, from a law perspective, but. yes we are seeing cross border acquisitions will increase india will become a uh, or is becoming even now uh, a destination for uh, investments to come in it is going to give tough competition to uh, the other preferred destination of china for a lot of the corporates but uh, corporate commercial practice as a such from a law firm perspective i think you are going to see more of the bigger work being done by law firms as against the routine contracts because in house capabilities are also increasing with corporates and they tend to look at those internally as against uh, going to external so you will see a slight shift but again uh, there are always some issues maybe not an entire contract but some aspects where a company may come back to a law firm for advice five years still a long time to say i think what is why maybe this question a uh, person could comment on um, uh, a couple of year a year back when knowing how the various economies are developing but looking at the pandemic situation i mean we never expected 2020 we don't know what's in store for 2021 while everybody i mean you come out, go outside i think it's like nothing ever happened but we are likely to see a second wave or uh, uh, over lockdown we never know i mean some countries in fact i think yesterday the news that mauritius has gone back under lockdown so how a lot is going to depend on the pandemic because you know while we have the work from home culture has uh, picked up people like to uh, are doing transactions and discussions online but there are still a lot of companies which want to do that physical interaction and in fact when the pandemic started we had a certain number of deals fall through because they said we can't come and travel to india now so how do we do a deal how do we manage what we acquire so difficult to say but i think 2021 is going to give us really tell us how the next 5 years are going to be thank you so much uh, for answering that question sanija uh, now uh, you have you have been in the legal space for a long time now and you have 
you know, you're really uh, enjoying a very successful career. Uh, and uh, I mean, this is something that I really would want to know uh, about your most memorable place and if you have certain key takeaways from there. Most memorable case, very difficult. I mean, it's been 25 years and I know. <laughs> a lot of a lot of deals done. But rather than cases, I think maybe my most memorable moment of uh, 25 in the last 25 years. Yes, I've enjoyed my time at the law firms that I work with. But I think the from a moment perspective, the memorable moment will would it be would be September 15, 2020, 2010, when I started classes law. That will always uh, stick out. I mean, we completed 10 years last year. Unfortunately, we're not able to celebrate it because of the pandemic. But uh, other than that, transactions, I mean, we've had, we've had a, we did a transaction for a, a German company. It was a global acquisition. And it was also, also became one of the deals of the year by India Business Law Journal. That was a good uh, matter. We are also right now engaged in um, a large transaction, again, with an Indian component for two... Uh, let's say, major uh, accounting firms. So all these, every deal has its own challenges. But I think the moments or that, the enjoyment which comes is that every, every new matter, I mean, every new client or every new matter, when it comes in, you get that kick. You, you, you feel that pleasure of a new matter coming in. I think that's what I, uh, I enjoy the most. Execution, obviously, is something which I always enjoy. And... So apart from my role of managing the firm, I'm always uh, deeply involved in the execution process. Mr. Anejo, thank you very much for sharing such great insights uh, with us. Uh, before we end this conversation, uh, would you like to say something to the budding lawyers? I think it's just a question of working hard and uh, focusing on the business side of law. Yes, uh, you need to try your luck at uh, both types of uh, law, litigation and corporate. Some tend to um, look at corporate, but a bit of litigation is always handy when even when you're doing corporate advice. Otherwise, just as long as you're willing to work hard, that's, that's what, what's important. I'm sure uh, many people are going to get inspired with this interview. Sadly, we have come to an end of this conversation, but we really look forward to having a chat with you again in the future on maybe some other trending topics in the international legal industry. We would really like to have you again. And for our viewers, if you really like this chat with uh, Mr. Anija, please like and share this video and also subscribe to Clickaway Creators YouTube channel to appreciate what we do and you have more coming from industry legal leaders. This is Bharti, Paul X Talk, signing off. Take care. Bye-bye.